check out my quarantined craft haul. Coming up after this. Okay. I've been really bad actually about not staying inside. I've been going out a lot and buying a lot of stuff. But it's stuff, it's mostly groceries and things to keep me occupied. If you check out my channel before, you know I've been making squares. Oh man, I don't have an example of them standing. Oh yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Oh, oh under here. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. So I've been making these, like, pot holder things. I mean, if you want to see that more in depth, I'd probably talk about it in other videos. And I couldn't figure out, there's no way I could possibly make a whole quilt of them. And then joining it is never going to be neat enough for me. So I came up with this solution, and I decided to make cubes out of them. So that's what I did. So I sewed all six sides together. I made these. This is something that I would want in my home. I don't know. It still doesn't have a purpose. Just like this doesn't really have a purpose. But I mean, they're cushy and they look cool. And the more I make, the more I can stack them up. How many did I make so far? I made this many. And so that brings me to this toy haul because I've got two of these empty ones. It's really funny too because most of the ones that I made were in groups of sixes. So I don't know why that is. Somehow all of these bunches of yarns make six. So now I have two more cubes. I had to go to the store to get more. I'm stuffing them with cotton balls because I think cotton balls are, I don't know, they're natural. I like that. Uh, these ones from the dollar store made in Canada, so I got those, but then I plan on making a lot, if you can tell. So I got those from the dollar store, but then I went to uh, the grocery store, and you get the same amount of cotton balls. They don't say made in Canada, though, for only a dollar. Those are $1.25. These were a dollar each the same amount. So I'm, I've got lots of, and it's about three. I think I need three of these to fill one of these. Maybe I could stuff in more. When I'm stuffing them in, three is too much, but I mean, I don't, I guess it's enough. I don't know. I don't want them to keep the square shape. I don't want them to start like bulging out and stuff either. So, but I guess they do condense down a little bit. Okay, what else did I get from uh, the Dollarama? I found these scrunchies, and they were just in great patterns. So I thought I would get those because, well, if you watch my other channel, you're going to have to check out my toy channel if you want to see what I do with scrunchies like this. However, I don't think that they'll work the same way, but still, they're really nice patterns, and they were only a dollar each, so I picked those up. And here's something else that I got that I already opened. It's this kit with this twine, and these scissors are really nice. This is my second getting this twice, because these are so old-fashioned scissors, and they cut so nicely. I'm definitely going to use these. I might use them right now in this video. And the twine I also weave on my loom, and sometimes I make, like, I don't know, jute rugs out of them. And then I have these... These shelves, these are toy shelves, but toy shelves for my toys. So my toys can have toy shelves. And I guess they're supposed to be like organizers for your drawer or something. But I didn't even think of it when I bought them. I just thought they were really nice. I could stick my camera on them or when I'm doing reviews and stuff. But then I realized when I turned them upright that they look so much like real shelves 
So I picked up two more of those. So I don't know if I'll pick get more of them, but they're nice wooden bamboo shells. They just drop out just the same stuff. Um, I got this at this is more um, white cotton string. I use this sometimes instead of yarn or I like to mix it with the yarn. I think it's pretty much exactly the same as the yarn. It seems to be exactly the same consistency. I've mixed this with yarn and I can't tell the difference, but it's it's unbleached, so I like the color that it makes. So I always pick that up, even though I think this ends up being maybe a little more expensive. It's about the same price as the yarn. I found these, I don't know, what do they call them? Printed craft sticks. I don't know why I got these. I have no purpose for these. I just saw them at the store. I love animal prints and they look really nice and they feel like they're really nice too. I don't know what I can do with those. I don't know if I have to do anything with them. I love those patterns. Did you see these cubes? The cubes are really cool and when you put them together, like look how it makes the segments. It just, they work out so perfectly from this to this. Perfect. I got lots more of these to make. Maybe I'll stuff some of those with you if we have time. And I got these t-shirts at the dollar store. I always love when Father's Day comes along because then I can get these officially the most amazing daddy t-shirt. And then I've got this one. Is it world's greatest dad? I think I have, I hope I don't have this exact one. But I have, I think I have one that says World's Greatest Dad. I think the print on this is different. Maybe I'll just wear these all summer long. It'll be, like, I won't wear, I'll, they'll just be the shirt that I, because I usually just don't wear a shirt. But some places you're not allowed into, like, almost every place, even if we're allowed to go. I don't know if we're going to be allowed to go out anymore. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to go out again but I will just carry this in my bag and I'll put this on whenever I need to go into a store or something. But I definitely have to cut the sleeves off. That's, that's just silly, having sleeves. Or I always use these for my reviews, especially when I review like baby dolls. It's always good to wear this shirt. So these shirts are a win-win situation. I guess me cutting this open off in a video isn't really going to be the best. I can't believe how nicely these scissors work though. Even though I'm getting a jagged edge here. Okay, so there's that, but uh, something that I can show you is I want to use these ones because this one, I stuck this brand in, so I kind of want the three cubes to match. I'm going to have six cubes, and I'm going to have to put some more. I've got lots more of these other ones, but I thought that these ones would look nicest like on my bed and floating around my room because they're like the colors of my place. So all I do is I just take these cotton balls and I stuff them in here. I thought about buying a towel because sometimes you can get full cotton towels at the dollar store. And it's probably more material than this, but um, you'd ha I'd have to cut it up or shred it or something to make it fit nicely as stuffing. I was just trying to get the best natural stuffing. I don't really want a polyester. I don't like synthetics at all. I don't like to have them. Even though I read some of these would get moldy. I think you have to get it wet to make it moldy though. I don't understand what that person did. I think cotton for cotton. I mean, if it was gonna if these were gonna get moldy, the outside would get moldy too, because it's made out of cotton too. I have a couple wool ones. I have six wool ones that I want to stuff to. They're, I think, a different size though because they get smaller. But these are nice. Look how tweedy. 
so fun. All right, I love you guys. Hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let me know how you're crafting. What are you making while you're locked up in your home? This is nothing new for me, by the way. I'm always locked in my home.